welcome back to Metroid Prime 3! Have we lost control? Nope, we are rocketing into the atmosphere of Norium! Oh my god, that's a loading screen! That's a loading screen, <laughs> is what that is! That's what I was looking at! Oh, that was great! I didn't even notice! I like this bit right here, just kind of zooming in here. It feels very uh, Star Wars-y, you know? Yeah! That's one thing I always found interesting about Star Wars, is how nobody runs into one another. Because they're all on autopilot. Oh my god, that makes sense. Kinda. Alright, what's the situation there, Hawk? Stand to, Samus. Our situation doesn't look good. The no shit. Oh. Has knocked out our generators and disabled the planetary defense system. This Ooh, I bet I can pull something out and push something back in for you. We probably did that a couple of times. Alright, so the way this works is that we've got three generators, as he said. We gotta turn all of them back on. There's one over there. One over there. Probably one to the north. And one over there. Look at that. This is kind of cool, we're, you know, like... The thing about this game is that we're not, like, alone in this game. So, like, stuff's actually happening that's, like, more set pieces and more, more dynamic and stuff like that. We're not, you know... In some dilapidated cave somewhere by ourselves. It's, you know, it's a it's a good intro. It's a good opening. I'm just glad we're not being relegated to like doing the odd jobs of the Federation. We're actually actively helping. Yeah, no, we're, like we're we're a specialist that they hire, not just another grunt soldier like another M. Yeah, I, I'm just imagining it's just like, hey, can you go turn on generators? Okay, thanks. All right, time for a gimmick. But this, a but this is a pretty good gimmick. Is that what I think it is? It's the Grapple Lasso! Yep. Not quite the Grapple Beam, a Grapple Lasso. And it's nunchuck based. You just shake the nunchuck, and then you can yank stuff, or pull stuff, or hurl stuff. Oh, do so a lot it's, of stuff. So it's not just swinging around, it's actively like, come here. Got some lore here on Rundus, and in Frigus, Moon Planet on Best 3, and Ice Mining, and Ice kind of has a career, Bounty, Bounty Hunter, Hunter and enjoys no, hunting, the point where he keeps trophies from all the targets he's successfully captured, killed, his career. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, without a rival, okay. He's a guy who's like, yeah, we're cool, we're good guys, yeah, we're the best, we're gonna, t we're gonna take these pirates down, no problem. Unfortunately, you will have to perish at our hands. Sorry, you had to find out this way. Ah, uh, we'll get there. Okay, so uh, while our friends are working on stuff, we'll just go ahead and pull it and twist. Act activate the elevator, yep. There you go. It, it, what, sorry. Yeah, there we go, there we go. We motion plus some... Um, it's not really set up for uh, the Wii anymore, my room. You know what? I, I always wondered about the motion plus, because they originally had it as a separate piece to connect to the bottom of your Wiimote, and then they started building it in. Do certain old Wii games work better without motion plus? You know, I think for uh, the next episode of Record, I'll... Uh, See, I'll uh, use a regular remote and see what oh, happens. Okay, so you do have one that still has the separate attachment. Well, well, yeah, that, I've also got like... Like see, at least one Wiimote with it built in, probably? I have one Wiimote that's built in and two original Wiimotes and two Motion Pluses to okay. to attach. I'm extremely curious because I know uh, Wii Sports, yeah. you can't really tell the difference with Motion Plus or not. Sometimes you can. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, well, that's distressing. Space, space invaders. I just got Dude. it. Because they're invading from... Or, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Hang, hang on. Whoa. Hey. So, hey, the next time we go to an alien planet, are we considered a space invader? We're not invading, though. We're more like exploring. Uh, trespassing. What constitutes an invader? Like going down to wreck and shop? Maybe like... From uh, another planet? Maybe if you plan to like live here. Okay, so if I'm just coming down and just being like, I want, uh, I just want to check out what's on this planet, like, I'm not actually staying here. Like, if, if I conquer somebody's house and take it for my own, I'd be invading. But really, I'm just here to get my stuff back and get back home, I'm just trespassing. SPACE TRESPASSERS! <laughs> Doesn't have quite the, the ring that you want yeah, added yeah, to yeah. it. Hi, I'm a space trespasser! Alright, well, get off my lawn, please. Yeah, I mean, Grand Theft Auto sounds a lot more fun than Grand Theft Larceny. <laughs> Grand Theft Trespasser. <laughs> <laughs> Disturbing the peace. You're not supposed to be here. Get out of here. Public menacing. The game. 
Man, if GTA had to rebrand, it's just like, oh, hey, we're we're a public nuisance. Six. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. Who, who's throwing drones around here? I don't know, some guy who thinks that he's gonna be the big one this time. Who's the jike off throwing around his drones, eh? That, there we go. There we go. Yeah. And all this fur, eight. Hey, hang on. There we go. That's a great shot. <laughs> just got there. <laughs> Dodged it! Oh, you actually did. Yes. Didn't take any damage. Very impressive. You got a crap drone to go after me. Have you ever used a drone? No. I kind of want to because you can get good aerial shots with it, but I know for a fact that as soon as I use it, it will get caught somewhere and destroyed. Well, yeah, what good would I do with an aerial shot? Drones seem like an expensive way to just crash a truck. <laughs> I mean, it'd be kind of cool if you were on, like, vacation or something, but yeah, that thing's falling straight in the ocean. Right, we gotta open up that door, and that door doesn't open until the three generators are on. Alright, well, and, uh, this, this is a nice free energy tank. I wonder if we can start calling those free tanks. Free E-tank. I mean, yeah, it kind of is. What's up, free tank? We have to go this way in order to get through this room, so... That's a free E-tank. Hey, I, th I think I see Sam as she's in the piston room. Oh, you mean where all the pistons activate at the same time? Yeah, that one. Yeah, I wonder what, this pl what that place was for. I don't know. So I think it was Greg Piston. He just absolutely loved the things. Decided to give him his own room. Well, you, oh! Well, you see my kid. He likes to drive the RC uh, Hot Wheels and all that. So I put it on here, and you know, you could just drive it down the. You know, you know. I don't. I don't gotta explain shit to you. So why'd you put lava on the floor? It makes it more terrifying. <laughs> For cooling. <laughs> so what? See, if th this was water when I started. Uh, see <laughs> what we got here. Oh, a map room. A map station. All right. So there's one major, I guess, issue I have with Metroid Prime 3. So Metroid Prime 1, it was essentially like a lot of hallways, a lot of highways on that one. Metroid Prime 2 was a lot more open. Prime 3 is, well, it's got a lot of planets, a lot of locations. The individual maps are a lot more linear. They're all made into hubs, more or less. It feels like we kind of took a few pages from Metroid Prime Hunters, if you know what I'm saying. Not exactly a bad thing, it just has to be done right. And they do it right here, but it's it's just... Yeah. Like, if, I, if we walk into a room at the end of this planet and we're finding just a big wall of boils like we did in Metroid Prime Hunters, I don't think it would be doing very well. This is essentially a, the Metroid Prime Fusion method of Metroidvanias. I was just thinking that, where you have different biomes instead of... Or different planets, in this case, instead of biomes. That and everything is linear until the very end, when it opens up and you can get everything you missed. Then it opens up pretty wide. There's a point of no return in this game, right? D yeah. S sorta, yeah. Like, the, the last area you go to doesn't have any collectibles, I don't think, except for, like, you know, a couple of final logbook, logbook scans. This game doesn't really focus on logbook scans too much. It's mostly on pickups. Which, hey, 5% of the way there, buddy. I mean, hey, we're getting there. There's a lot of them. Well, bring it on. I've, I've done the biggest, baddest collectathons in the gaming world. I could do one more. I got a lot of lore in here. Oh, the different hunters. The different hunters, you know, they're... That also what's called the Valhalla incident. Essentially, how the pirates attacked in the first place. Somebody let them in? They just, they just attacked. Hmm. What's interesting is that uh, these logs differ from the trilogy version. Oh, by how much? Not too much, but uh, different, uh, uh, different lore places are placed differently. Oh, so it's just you shouldn't have gotten this lore in trilogy or something like that? That room should have been the room where we read of the three hunters. Instead it was... Gore, Gandreda, and the Valhalla incident. Interesting. And Rundus was over by uh, where we got the grapple last Yeah, time. I noticed that. So do they just swap them? So in the trilogy version, I think that's where you find out about the Valhalla incident, and then that room where, where, is where all three of the hunters are. Okay, that makes sense. So maybe that was just an oopsie? Just l little tweaks. Uh, you'll notice that the, that, uh, the doors are a lot slower in this version, because I'm playing the original launch Wii version. Hmm... 
T the door? Uh, the guys? Oh no! I'm just thinking after a certain point when a door closes behind you, you kind of just get used to uh, it. Hey, you, you! You in the back! I need you! Come here! Uh, You're a pirate trooper, I need you! You can't see me! I can see you! <laughs> I've got I've got a block on you and now you're dead. Wait, hold wait, on. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, just a sec. Just so now, there now you're dead. There we go, now you're dead. I really do not like how the pirates look in this one. They look uh corrupted. I mean, I get it they're supposed to be like disgusting, but the the color palette is just gross ah. and unbecoming. It's like they've got space cancer and also like like lesions and contusions in there as well. Well, those are the possible side effects of space cancer, so very unfortunate. It's like all their skin melts off, their their bones turn blue, and then what 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 uh, skin and flesh they have left on them is hardened and turned into basically cartilage. You look at this mm. and go, oh yeah, that's the way to go. Definitely the way to go. I'm just thinking, my sh my uh, bones are my shield. Ooh. Well. <laughs> Hi guys. They've even got uh, phase on uh, jetpacks, I suppose. That is probably the stupidest looking jetpack I've ever seen. So you're gonna notice that uh, in, in Metroid Prime 2, you saw a lot of a of a repurposed enemies from Metroid Prime 1, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I think they kind of avoided that in this one. Make all new. Because even though you're gonna see that there's a lot of similar enemies that work the same way, these are the jetpacks, uh, pirate troopers, of course. They've been altered, so they look different. Just have some different some differentiation, I suppose. Because you couldn't have a third game using the same assets like this. Right. Not on the sexy new Wii console, no way. I can't remember when people thought the Wii was supposed to have the power. But the Xbox 360! Oh, no one no one ever thought that. Yes, uh... D deniers. <laughs> or, uh, people who believe too much as to what uh, gaming journalism says. More like it's, uh, the, it's the power of the original Xbox with the Red Bull. The slightly more processing power. Actually, no, it has less. Oh, less. Yeah, I believe uh, the Xbox was the most powerful during that particular generation in the Wii. It's not exactly a powerhouse. It's basically a GameCube with a Red Bull. But uh, yeah, it was. It wasn't the GameCube the most the most powerful processor anyway on the on the, on the market. No, it just happened. Hmm. I'm not talking about the 360, the original Xbox. Right, 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 right. right. I might have to look into that, because the Xbox was powerful, but I... Th maybe it was outmatched. I just received word that the Federation is allowing all bounty hunters to use ship command devices. You should now be able to remotely command your ship and land it here. Don't forget to perform suit maintenance and data backup if you need. That's huge. So, there's way less save rooms in this game. While you head that way. Because you can essentially bring the ship and make your own. Save anywhere, or in specific points. Is also land anywhere too. So not only can I uh, call my ship lander here and get a little save, a uh, little uh, missile refunction here, but I can also land here when I'm coming from another planet. So this probably cuts back on a lot of the backtracking when you have a lot more planets opened up. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Good job, guys. They've uh, repurposed her ship to be a bit uh, easier to maneuver around. I remember I've had some trouble kind of jumping on top to get up in her ship, but now I can just kind of go in here and, you know, it's all taken care of. Maybe it's just one of those quality of life things. It's like, okay, what did what uh, what did gamers find less than ideal in the first couple games? Oh, jumping on the ship. Got it. We can work with that. It's one of those... Functions the same, but looks different. <laughs> Metroid Prime 3's uh, Diet Right, as opposed to Metroid Prime 1's uh, uh, Diet Coke. Or Dr. Pepper. <laughs> what? Off brand is what I'm going for. Ah. This is a fun little door, a little Simon Says door. Now yank it off! Simon Says, rip it off. It's like, alright. You want to get into the secret place? Hey. You do the secret knock. And then you tear the hinges off. Yeah, if you want to get into my secret club. Dude. Dude. Dude, dude. Dude, dude. 
one of my favorite jokes from the Lego movie is, uh, Mor the Morgan Freeman wizard is, uh, at the secret club. It's like, now, we have to do the secret knock. <laughs> the door opens. <laughs> <laughs> nice setup, nice payoff. Zippy boys. These are Jolly Roger drones. You know, every GFS place I go into always assumes that I'm a threat, but yeah, you know, that's that's just how it is. GFS? I know that's Global Federation, but the Galaxy Federation. Yeah, Galaxy Galactic Federation. Galactic Federation. Galactic Federation. Excuse me, I got it wrong twice somehow. Uh, but GFS just reminds me of General Food Supply. <laughs> These guys are jolly as a Roger. Well, once the Metroid uh, scandal hits, they're gonna pivot to that. Ooh, big old food chain right there. Just yeah, yeah. Just just feed the universe. Do a lot less harm that way. Feed the universe to the Metroids. Oh, yeah, no, no, okay. don't C come here. Get come here. Ah, ah, my ear. It's a big old hole in the middle of that generator, huh? Gonna turn this generator back on, of course. Boop. I really hope that's just any human's handprint that can go in there. Otherwise, everything is mapped to Samus's hand, and that's kind of hilarious. I think she's got like specific kind of codex in that hand, Something so she can like upload data and you know, boop, scan, you know, authorize user. <laughs> she has special software that changes her fingerprints to who whoever it needs. Oh, they brought reinforcements! Oh, wait a minute, that's not reinforcements. Da 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 That's a kamikaze unit. Oh! Very different. Open up, open up! That's why the pirates disabled the defense system. They intend to smash this thing into Norion. Get that cannon back online, or everyone down there is as good as dead. I'm working on it! I'm working on it! Open the doors! Load faster! Load Open faster! Open the doors! Faster! Hurry! Oh, there we go. Oh, he just took that. No, no, Chuck! No, no, Bill! Hi, guys! Why don't you pick on somebody your own species? Wait. Power up! Nice! Oh wow, you just disintegrated those pirates. God damn, dude. All clear. Can I get some of that? What was that? Who are you? What, yeah, what are you? Federation Ped Marine. Advanced armor suit is equipped with phase on enhancement device. What the heck? I beg your pardon? Oh, there you Oh, there you are! Oh, he's fucking the place boy. up. No. Oh, boy. Well, better go after him. Absolutely. So you're telling me Federation's using Phazon technology to power up their Marines, while at the same time Ridley just shows up right as a kamikaze bomb is here to destroy the planet. I don't think uh, the Phazon is a good thing. You oh, hey, whoa, bud. whoa, whoa. Hey, bud. So, uh... I don't, yeah, everyone's using Phazon, and it's just a bad, bad idea. Bad idea. <laughs> well, yeah, we... 100 would... kills, though. Go oh, on. nice, nice. You know, pump that fist. 100 kills. Hell Ooh. yeah. Hoorah. So, uh, people are wielding space cancer, is what I'm hearing. Almost as if, uh, they didn't learn their lesson from trying to wield Metroids. It's, like, they've apparently found a way to utilize the Phazon where it doesn't, like, corrupt them. But like, mm. like, like they don't like infuse the phase on into uh, okay, them. Okay. It's powering the armor suit, so they use like a little bit at a time. Not enough to fully corrupt and infect. Okay. It's like phase on uh, Kaioken, basically. You know what? I understood that. Because whenever you use Kaioken, okay, we got a lot of generators on. Whenever you use Kaioken, it like hurts your body, and that was like always a thing. It's like if you go too far, Goku, it'll break your body. And then he goes, Kaioken times forty. <laughs> body not broken, just became more powerful. Ooh! Ooh! Get him! Yeah, get him! Yeah! Yeah! Get him, get him, get him! Yeah! yeah right in the face! Go gore! What's up, man? This one has 
has finished bothering us. Go on ahead. I would stay here and protect the area. All right, you do you, man. You you got things you got things under control. Proceed quick. Is he a cyborg or an android? He is a cyborg who can communicate with other robots to either control them or like dis disarm them. He's like the bot whisperer, I suppose. I'm just thinking because I saw the brain, so there's still some human in there, but he looks almost 99% robot. You might as well just go for alien. Oh, that works. It's basically an umbrella. Well, we can read his logbook if you want to find more information. That is true. That is true. We got his dossier. Large quantities of Phazon, huh? Yeah, it's it's not good. Extreme cold. All right, can't unlock that door yet. Don't have any cold weapons yet. Hmm. Is that a little wink, wink, nudge, nudge to an ice beam, possibly? Ice bomb, maybe. You never know what we're gonna get in here. We'll get, I mean, we, we we got the grapple lasso. That's already new. We've kept our spaceship and our morph ball and all of our abilities. That's also new. Oh yeah, for the audience at home, I am the uh, I am the Metroid Prime noob. I knew a little bit about Metroid Prime One, Metroid Prime Two. I knew nothing about, and uh, Metroid Prime Three, same thing. I'm I am in the dark, so this should be interesting. Can't wait to see the new toys. I always like when Metroid comes out and they give us new toys. New toys are always fun. But the old toys are also fun. The will enter the planet's atmosphere soon. There is no time to I know! You're wasting time here! Thank you, Mother. Yeah. Alright, just need to get up here. Oh, no IBJ. No infinite bombs. Ah! Uh, hello! Oh! Okay, yeah, this, this part rules. Boy, he knew we were here! Hi. Who's waiting for us? Get out of my way! Get out of my way, you! Come on! I, there, there's no time! You're missing me! This ain't working, dude! There, alright! I do like that he's been relegated to kind of like an annoying pelican on the beach. <laughs> She's like, get out of here! <laughs> Stop! Stop stealing my french fries! Yeah, I knew it, he's coming he's again, yep. You're not gonna get away from me that easily! You're lucky I left my power bomb at home! Oh, hold on, if only we could get out of Powerball. Do, 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 do. Yeah, bring me my power bombs. Morph ball, excuse me, I said power ball. Right, come on, yeah. Yeah. It's Ridley, it's Ridley, it's Ridley, yeah. it's Ridley, okay. I got some of the generator on. It's almost here. I was able to get generator B back on the Ooh, fuck yeah! Where do you go, Rundus? That's awesome actually you don't you didn't have to get all three yeah i mean we're all working together here all four of us are working all around norian i love it trying to get this going on we had we, we had a uh, run this take on generator b we had gore uh, take care of that one guy i'm pretty sure gandreda's around here somewhere i'm just thinking it's like all the other bounty hunters are just like okay i've cleared out my section i'm gonna go work on that generator back there it's just nice to not be alone for once you know people we can work with people we don't have to wax poetic about it either at every five minutes. Now, when have we ever done that? Well, <laughs> as of this game, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but after this game, oh yeah. Like, like, they're gonna get the wrong ideas out of this game. What came f Oh, it's Gandreda. Uh, what came first? Trilogy or Other End? You know, I don't know. I think they came out the same year, though. Maybe it was like 2009 that Trilogy came out? See, now you got me curious, because if you release star. Trilogy, updated Charlotte, combat and everything, I don't think a lot of people bought it, unfortunately. No. But, yeah, I think it was Trilogy and then Other M, and then the series died. That sucks! Yeah. You know what, I'm, I'm going to confirm that, because I would hate it if if nobody bought Trilogy. It would make me a sadman. Well, Metroid games always never sell that well. Until... Until Dread. Yeah, until Dread. It's like, no, 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 guys, we'll actually buy it this time. That's why I don't think we're going to get a successor to the Switch uh, anytime soon. Because in these uncertain times, we need something the Switch has. Installed fan bases. Alright, it looks like it came out... Uh, 2009 is when Trilogy came out. You're right. So before Other M, then. And then going by... The sales. Let's take a look at 
Uh, Metroid Prime Trilogy. Ew. <laughs> what the hell? All right, just to give you a comparison, uh, Metroid Prime 3, uh, 1.41 million units, if this is to be believed. Solid, solid. Uh, Metroid Prime Trilogy, uh, 449,000. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Other M sold better? I don't know why. Uh, th this will give you faith in humanity, however. <laughs> Take a look at the next game. Three million units, baby, for Dread. One million for Prime Remastered. And Metroid Prime Federation Force, 15,000. <laughs> uh, disgusting. Thank you for not doing a whole series on Federation Force. That would have drove me up a wall. Yeah, I, did, I would not have been a fan of Metroid anymore after that. Of course, it, I don't think it's a Metroid game. If you want to get technical, it isn't. It certainly has Metroid things in it. It takes place in the same universe. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's idiot proof, but I didn't want to check. No, it's, yeah, it's good on you. Good yeah. on you. This is idiot proof, however. I wouldn't trust those either. Not all the way. <laughs> yeah! <Okay. laughs> this is by uh, Control Stick, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm just imagining using the D-pad and just rocking it accidentally. It's like, no, no, oh, no, shit. no. <laughs> All right, that should turn the generator on, right? I thought that was you controlling it. I yeah. thought you were about to fall. Oh! oh. Hello. Hey, buddy. Hey, Jack, quick, Jack, ah! Yeah! All right, you bastard, come on. It's the Meta Ridley fight, let's go! Yeah! This is the best Meta Ridley fight in the series! This is yep. so awesome! Yeah, this is great. It's like, <laughs> like you just do a, a, a medial a morph bomb puzzle and then you're, you're falling terminal velocity down all the way this shaft is taking on Meta Ridley and he's firing lasers at you and yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! He came back for revenge, he's pissed. Oh, I'm pissed too, cause you're fucking everything up for me! Ah! Every time something goes wrong, I blame this dragon right here. My coffee wasn't hot this morning, this dragon right here. I stepped in mud this morning and got my pants dirty, it's all your fault! This dragon right- Oh, he's got you, he's oh, got you. Oh yeah, he's, he's What's got- What's up, buddy? Alright, he's gonna shoot- uh, all right, None of that shit. Got, no, 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 no. No. D does he just, like, breathe fire directly in your face? No bites, no fire, no nothing. Don't, don't do it, <laughs> don't do it. Need to unlearn to stop using the, the the rapid fire when charged shots do better. This rules. It just feels good to just mash A on the Wii mode though. It's like you're changing channels. <laughs> Pointing at you and you're dying. <laughs> do you remember Ham from Toy Story 2 flipping through the channels? That's what it's like to click A on a Wii mode controller. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, just double back around. Yeah, come on, Ridley. Let's go. <laughs> Did you just Ratzenberger Rid Ridley right there? <laughs> Ridley Burger. <laughs> hey, this is Sam and Aaron. Ridley Burger. <laughs> it's me, the Underminer! <laughs> we are going, uh, well, I wouldn't say underground because we're like suspended. We're just falling. So. This is distressing. Yeah, and uh, that is indeed a time limit down there. Yep, beat him before the time limit's out. Yeah, I don't, don't want to hit the ground, I don't want to go boom. Yeah, uh, so when I said uh, I knew nothing about this game, this is about the only thing I know because back when this game came out, you were like, dude, you gotta see this. You had kept a save uh -huh. right before Meta Ridley. He was like, dude, you gotta see this. And I got to see it. It was great. This, this is the one. It's fucking sweet. Ooh, he's now tossing shit at you. We hadn't seen him since Metroid Prime 1. It's kind of a throwaway fight, but this, yeah, this wasn't is. This is. Well, cause, cause he was like getting worked on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's you now he's been worked on. Look at all these mechanical parts. Ow. I think he's been empowered by Phase On too, cause he has that same kind of sickly color palette that the that the space pirates do. So not only has he been reborn, reconstructed, he's also been recancered. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit, he's so powerful. And, and, and he's like, yeah, fine, do it. I don't care. I just I, I just gotta kill this one bitch. <laughs> Do it up, do it up! I don't care what you do, as long as you give me the power to- ah! Now stay dead! Go away! Forever! And- yeah. That's so cool. My I love, man! I love how the kickoff is just like, and stay out! 
How did he know to come find us? Oh, well, he was probably coming down to this generator, saw what was going on. Well done, Sims. Now you owe me one. Okay. Harry took care of generator B, so I'll leave it to you to get this final generator back online. With that, we can activate the cannon. When you're done, head to the control room. I'll meet you there. Boy, it is so cool having friends that help you out and, like, care about your well-being. <laughs> Bye, Frozone. <laughs> Later, buddy. He knows where his super suit is. <laughs> Hell yeah! Meta Ridley defeated the- that was a great boss fight. That's how you do a boss fight, that's how you get started on the whole uh, Metroid Prime 3 thing, that's how you get people on board. What I like about it is, it's not out of nowhere. Right. Because Ridley was actually, you know, fucking things up, outside, and trying to fuck you up outside. Yeah. He was there, he was flying around, and he, he sees you go- Ah! You! Get over here! <laughs> come here! Come here! Yeah, you! Point to you and just, just like, does the come here finger, it's just like, you! Mm, come here! <laughs> Alright! Got Yay. three generators on, and uh, now we can get the cannon back on, take out the meteor, and save the planet! And this is just the opener. Me likey. Sounds like it's gonna impact in like three minutes though, so we need to get to the control panel to actually fire the cannon. Uh -oh. I, I gathered that. Oh, hold on, let me save real quick, just in case I make an oopsie. I, I, I'm saving here for a, a good reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you gonna show us what happens when the meteor hits the planet? Yeah, well, you'll, you'll die and you'll go, oh, game over. Oh, uh, game over. Load, load, load previous save. I can just imagine this being the Metroid game where they have alternate cutscenes for failing. God, that would ruin some kids who just got this for Christmas. Our last chance to stop the meteor. You must get to the control and fire the defense cannon. Alright, alright, I'm on it. Thanks, Mom. I know where to go. I saw the big door where it was. It's another thing I'm not too keen about is that the game is a little handholdy on where to go next. Eh. It happens. But but I, I get it, you know, th th there's a time limit here. We need to, like, keep, keep it going here. G go here. Don't dilly dally over here because that'll mess with the with our narrative here. That's a great shot. It is. Damn. So we got three minutes. I don't know if uh, that's a hard time limit, but uh, after a minute it says two minutes left and then one minute left. So uh, I'd, I'd like to hurry. Hurrying would be good. Yeah, I'm going to say this is pretty... N not exactly a strict time limit, but it is a time limit to get you to go, 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 go. I say a haste makes waste, and uh, my waist is looking pretty slim right now, so let's haste. And of course, all these pirates are just like, no, let the planet be destroyed. And it's like, Haha, no, let the planet be destroyed. Ah! Let the planet be destroyed. 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 And Samus walks into the room where this musical number is happening. He's just like, uh, what did I just walk into? Hi guys. Phase on mosh pit. Dude. Just imagine a couple teenage space pirates come up. We're the Phazon Miners! Yeah! Check out our band! Uh, uh, uh we're the Phazon Miners. <laughs> yeah, Phazon, yeah, Phazon Miners. <laughs> Stop attacking Metal Ridley, dumbass. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's cool. <laughs> yeah, he gave us beer. Metallica rocks, dude. All right, our friends are here. We Yay! No, you weren't. No, actually, knowing you, yeah, you probably were. Perfect time to scan the two you didn't scan yet. Scan Drada. She can mimic other people, as you can tell. And a uh, Frozone. That's Rundus. Rundus. We scanned Gore when he was getting uh, scanned earlier in the first episode. Let's do this! Yeah! Let's go! I don't like being the shortest out of the four, but... No, that's alright. Don't you know Samus is like 8'11 or something like that? Whatever... Whatever her height is in the power suit. So uh oh! We have a visitor! Oh! Guess who's back, everyone! Oh, that's awesome. Huh. Ain't having any of that. I got you, bitch! I've been waiting for this. I've been dreaming of you coming back. And she's like, alright, fine. 
You wanna play it that way? I'll just do this cool thing! Whoa! Whoa! So that wiped us all out. When your bitchy sister comes to Thanksgiving. Yeah, that kind of infuses with Phazon, too. That's not looking good not there. Good. That's Ugh. not good. She's just shot a cancer beam at all of us. Oh, no. All right, now that that's taken care of, let's get out of here. Later. The thing about Samus is that you can never count her out. Ow. 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 Ugh. Ow. No. Ow. Anyway, fire the cannon. <laughs> the first thing that comes to mind is, you can't just blow a hole into the surface of Mars. But we're not doing that. We're just launching a beam that completely fucking misses the meteor. <laughs> But then hits the satellite, okay. which then angles the beam, okay. and chops it okay. right in two. I was. <laughs> By the way, that giant rock had a phase on face. I would just like to point that out. That was really cool looking. Send the invoice to Samus Aaron. Cash directly. Ugh. Well, Samus is out for a bit. We'll see you next time.